Oh, oh yeah. We got the cage burger here. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> we got the Fisher burger right here. Oh, oh thank you very much. Oh. We're very excited. Very excited about uh, the competition we have going. Oh my God. Yep. Yours looks amazing. Sorry, the competition is now over. I will, I, <laughs> it, but it depends. I'm telling you right now, I see. Wow. You know, you're gonna describe exactly what's going on here, but I'm, I believe I see uh, uh, mac and cheese coming out of your burger. The way it's supposed to. Now that's- Lobster mac and cheese, oh, my man. Now I'm with mouth, a little, mouth watering, so I, I mm. with a little sriracha in there too, just to give it a little bit of tang. I want to, I want to dog it so bad because it's yours, but my God, it looks delicious. I will say this, as a big guy, uh. <laughs> as a guy that doesn't usually go for something that has the good stuff on it. Right. As soon as they bring out this, it has bacon, cheese, bacon, right, chicken uh, fingers, chicken. Yeah, th those are great, cheese. and then more cheese. Yep. I, I that's that to me is the the winner. I mean, however, I, my God. However, if if you're looking on the menu mm -hmm. and you see lo a lobster mac and cheese stuffed right. avocado on top, yes. that is going to be very intriguing, especially with a little sriracha, uh, sriracha in there. And I have a feeling, even though this looks like it could be the winner outright, I think my burger might take it just because of how intriguing it is. Oh, you think you're more intriguing than me. I, I yeah. think the flavor profile of this, and again, I'm not taking it, the, the lobster mac and cheese here at Boulevard is ridiculous. I mean, off the charts ridiculous. With that being said, I think as you bite through, I'm a, I'm a layer guy, and as you bite through these layers and the different flavor profile that you're getting, not just with the burger, not just with the, the beautiful crispness of the bacon here, then you got the cheese that's just marinating on everything. You get those chicken fingers, the pop of that chicken finger, the perfect crust on that. My God, my God. I know. I'm sorry, I, but I don't think, I, I think I've got this. So we're here at Boulevard Burgers in beautiful St. Pete Beach, Florida. Um, you're walking distance, you know, right across the street from the beach. Uh, one of my favorite places, as a matter of fact, I live right up the way. And, you know. and, I, and I come down here about once a week, once every two weeks. So now he'll be here five times a week. I live a little bit further and I'm gonna have to up my game coming down here only because, uh, well, I know you'll be here buying five a day just so you can beat me. Follow my Twitter page or my Twitter account at Fisher the Man or on Facebook, uh, Chris Fisher 54321, mm -hmm. because he's right. There will be times that I say, hey, meet me here and I'll buy you some burgers just to pad my stats. I'm not afraid. Well, there's no well, rules, and you know if my if my burger sells more burgers than your burger, even if you buy them personally, there's still everybody wins because it's still a $500 donation to our favorite charity. For me, it's Pet Pal, and for you, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I'm going to make sure that they get their $500 because there's no way you're winning this. Even if you came down here every day and bought people burgers, I'll come down here when I, I follow you. It's also at Jesse Cage. I follow at Fisher the Man. And uh, when you say that, when you say, hey, come down, I'll buy you a burger, I will come down. And no, my no, he is a lazy old man that doesn't like to leave downtown St. Pete. I don't think, I'm telling that's, a, I don't think that's appropriate at all, sir. <laughs> I am down here on the weekends, and now I have to up the game. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not scared of you. You can buy burgers all you want.